Wait, Rune Factory 4 Special Edition hit Switch today, so I'm looking forward to that. No, what? Uh, why? Okay, so we can warp to floor two. Well, that's convenient. Oh, how am I ever gonna have enough time for anything? That sucks. One, I wish I'd been told about that ahead of time so I could budget my time better. Okay. <sighs> really don't give you a whole lot of time to like avoid here. Ow! I thought he was out of stones. There we go. Grab these. I'd love to play a game like this. Can you imagine playing a game like this? Okay. Can you imagine playing a game like this, but with the gameplay of Bloodstained Ritual of the Night? Oh, that would be such such a choice experience. Might have to try Spear or something. Eh, probably. I'm not even sure. I don't know. I'm definitely face rolling a little bit harder just because uh, I can. Also because I haven't played in a while and I'm not used to this. Okay. I don't know what Commander Bone Pants here is capable of doing. He chucks bone meringues. Of course he does. See, like the boner mancer here, he has a very like defined pattern and is easy to avoid. Half the enemies that we've been running into here are very definitively like the kind of like, how the hell do you hit that without getting hit? Yourself. I remember to charge the arrows more often. They seem worth it sometimes. The problem is, again, half the enemies here are just like super punishing to fight. So it's like, you did the charge arrow. Well, you got hit twice in the process. You did the charge arrow. You got stunned out of it. And it's like, what? No, damn it. Luckily, the the uh, damage over time effect still hits this guy. On the plus side, the music for this game is really good. And the, and the visuals, like, style does a lot to keep me interested in a game. And so it's nice to play something that, like, really does look just gorgeous. Yeah, Rune Factory 5 announcement today as well. Yep. Wander needs a hyperbolic time chamber. I absolutely do. Or straight up cheats. Like, I miss the day when you- the days when you could- Ah, there's a mimic. I miss the days when, like, cheating was just normal. Like, game sharks were just... Uh, game sharks were just, like, available. And... Easy to... I'm not gonna say easy to work with, but, like... This sucks. What the fuck? God damn it! I was pulling it in the wrong direction and... remember if that actually... I think I lost all my potions, too, that it ripped out of me. I think it smashed good. Yeah.
Okay, there we go. Let's see. Mostly junk. Okay, we've done this before. Oh. I really wish it was slightly harder to roll into pits. Like, it's very clear that they changed some things, but it wasn't much. Why can I not hit you? Okay, thank you. Yeah, they definitively changed some mechanics about this game, but it still has that kind of, like, weirdly clunky feel. For how, like, demanding the fights are against the enemies, this really needs something a little bit like, faster paced. Uh, this is like playing Gungeon with Binding of Isaac controls. I think I finally... I think I finally got my, like, exact description for why this game bothers me. And that's it. It really is like trying to play Gungeon with Isaac controls. It's very strange. I'm not even sure if the charge attack on that arrow is actually worth it now that I'm thinking about it. Because it doesn't it doesn't get the poison effect. To be careful not to walk through the doors. Binding of Gungeon. Yeah, but like all the enemies still or like half the enemies still behave like Gungeon enemies. And shoot like Gungeon and enemies and so on and so forth. But I'm I'm locked to the same four axis that you know, you always are. Enter the Isaac. Gross. Ow. Well, that's an awkward place to be standing. But you know what? Whatever. Well, those items are not obtainable. Okay, there we go. Are those oh, the inventory is full, that's why. Okay, so that destroys a curse on one of these things. Kind of good. Let's see, we don't need golem cores. We definitely don't need crystal rock. Most of this stuff is actually old gear and like old bits that I don't need so much of. Like, I'm not sure why they're still giving me crystallized energy, unless for crafting, but at this point, like, you should need crafting? I don't know. Okay, so it's this guy again. We're still on level 3, and I don't think I have any blueprints or weapons. I could buy a bunch of potions, but I don't really want to... Uh, well, I mean, it's certainly cheaper than if I... It's certainly cheaper than if I got the outside potion 4s, but still... Let's see, how much do we have left? What I should probably do is actually just go down, regardless. Because I'm not finding any blueprints here, so I'm just going to keep making making progress. Hi, boss. Okay. Let's see. So he's scary. I... Now, why is it that en every enemy in this game makes you drop items? I'm very confused about this. I do appreciate the fact that they added mid-bosses. They're a nice change of pace. Hopefully he drops something interesting. I 
Like, one of the rings would definitely be a nice change of pace. I bet if I went back to previous dungeons, I could probably... Uh, I could probably get some rings there, too. The main question is just, like, do they give flat bonuses, percent bonuses, special effects, or what? And if I remember right, the dodge roll does not... Oh, no, it does give you iframes. Okay. I'm looking forward to when we actually have the better equipment. Yeah, this guy would be a much more threatening if I was rolling melee, probably. Oh, and there's a ring. Okay, uh, let's see. We don't need plant flesh, if I remember right. Plant fe flesh isn't that great. None of these are that great. So what are you? Electric Puddle Amulet. Okay, if I check my inventory, what does this do? Can I see anything about it? Nope. Probably something I get to clear off. Eventually. Okay, uh, let's go back. Can I? So... He doesn't care about that. Portal's already open. Okay. I wasn't sure if I get to, uh... hand him the ring and have him clean him off. But it looks like it's something that I clean off on my own as soon as I go back to town. Probably. Okay. Well, I'm gonna brave going deeper. It looks like a lot of the doors are staying open, too. So if I wanted to, I could actually just es eschew fighting things entirely. Should probably take a moment to manage inventory first. Because, remember if desert steals, okay. Magnetic, wait. Okay, so magnetic cores are worth nothing. What about petals? Petals aren't worth much either. Oh, that's why I lost all my potions. I forgot, you only get to hold on to certain things. Yeah, Magnetite is from the Fire Dungeon. I'm trying to get rid of everything that isn't worth much. Tesla Coil Engine is worth some. Broken batteries, worth a decent amount. Those are steel sheets, okay. But yeah, I'm trying to get rid of everything that I probably don't need that much of. And mainly, yeah, mainly so I have space for... All the goodies specifically from this dungeon. I don't know if any of them are specifically used for crafting. I know there's a number. And I think there was like some new armor and equipment that we could pick up. The day I decided to go for the damage over time effect bow is the moment I more or less just skunked this game into oblivion. Fortunately, hitting this guy is kind of rough. Still not sure how you're supposed to hit him uh, in melee. I don't do damage to him apart from status effects. Leads me to wonder if he's even harmable? I didn't even need enchantment related stuff. I think I have a buttload of it just sitting around. Okay, there we go. It homes in a little. Okay, well, let's get rid of the this guy a little bit if I can. Okay. He's done. 
Come, Fartmancer. Please desist. I would like to adventure. And you're in my way. Okay, so we get a bunch of slime. There seems to be a currency that I just hold on to. Whoops. Okay. Destroys an artifact in a, in a direction. So if I put it there, it should be fine. I'm assuming jewels are worth money. Obviously. I'm... I'm... I'm getting the overall, like, pattern for these enemies. In a lot of cases, they're not exactly the most exciting. You know, this guy is just... avoid the petals a little bit. Go from there. I think the arrows do have a very slight auto-aim, but it could be wrong. Let's see, this game is going to be free on Epic soon, you're going to be all over that. I wonder how they're going to handle DLC. I'd say it's still probably worth playing. It's certainly fun. I've just got my grumps with it because, like, I see a better game in this. And I'm mildly miffed that it, it didn't fully, like, reach what I was hoping it would be. Let's see, so that destroys a curse in a direction. Uh, let's get rid of that curse. I want to hold on to all these potions, because they are expensive. So I haven't needed to use them as much here. Kind of, sort of. We also have mystery stuff. Well, let's get rid of the enchantment. And you know what? I'm going to grab this ring. Whatever the ring is, it's more important than anything else I've got in my inventory. Uh, let's see. Anything else I can get rid of? Honestly, uh, no, no, no. We never figured out what those are. Broken battery I can, I can sell for... It's not even chump change. It's actually pretty decent. Oh, can I just use it? That's probably worth it. I'm not sure what that thing is, but still. But yeah, if you could, if you could actually combine this level of dungeon crawling with Reketeer... I think you'd have a really fancy game on your hands. Find out. Ooh. Let me guess. Doesn't stack to 10? Damn. Because Reketeer's biggest... biggest issue is 100%... It's dungeon crawling is not very interesting. This game's biggest issue is its shop shopkeeping isn't the best. It's very easy to because effectively you just guess until you get the right price. And then you don't have to like bargain with people. There's no like there's no like fees or bills or anything like that. It's just upgrading your equipment and that's it. I'm not sure what's doing buttloads of damage to me there. How is he not dead yet? Ow. Okay. There's, there it goes. I'm taking a lot more damage than I probably should be, but eh. Okay, let's get rid of these. They're in my way. Was that, wait, was that worth like a lot? Twenty-three thousand. Well, that pays for some potions. Which is one of these books worth six thousand? Yeah. So pretty much everything from this dungeon is worth ten times the amount that I could get from anywhere else. So I'm pretty much going to just get rid of everything else. Damn. Uh, that's going to put us back up to 2 million in a hurry. Okay. Sorry, I'm not super communi communicative today. 
Oh wait, no, we should focus on this thing. I... How long have I been streaming for? It's like nearing 10 hours or something. Oh, actually, my internet's dead. That sucks. I'm not sure why it's completely dead, but... That's not the kind of thing I can fix from here. Okay. Come on. And it is not coming back. Why did that not hit? Eh. Eh. Stick by. No, damn it! Roll away from it! Okay. Oh yeah, it just totally... It totally just, like, devoured that and didn't give it back. That sucks a bit. Okay, I should be back. I'm not sure what happened with my internet there, but it just totally lost it, and I'm not really sure why. So if I block, I can just totally ignore the... I can totally ignore the hand. That's actually pretty useful. How did the golems... Okay, I've totally forgotten how skunkable these golems are. They cannot handle things at, a, at an angle. Okay, let's, uh, let's drink a potion. I've taken some damage, it's not too bad, but still. Get rid of these. Okay. But yeah, I apologize for that, that random outage. I honestly have no idea why it happened. But it just, it just happens. It should be back, though. Oh, no shortcut portal here. You again. So I could buy some potions. I could teleport out. Well, I'm not done checking over the place, and the weird, the weird ghost hasn't come to to wreck my business, so I'm just gonna go this way. Oh, scavenging log 13. Circumstances are looking dire. Not good at all. I cannot wait on this position any longer. Today I find my way back. Original bodies were made for swimming through dimensional fluid at through the dimensional fluid after all. Okay. Wow, that's. Relatively short dungeon. I lost an item there while the internet was messed up, but eh. Okay, and I don't need more potions yet. I still have a handful left of my T4s. I'm probably just going to keep using them until I don't need slime for anything else. Because my HP bar hasn't gone up again. I don't know. I'm just also curious if I could beat this in one night by just like... No. Oh. Okay, never mind. I should give up on that option. That Tenta Beast is going to do some damage to me. Oh, come on! I can see the arrows still get completely destroyed by, uh, by random light collisions. Luckily, Tentabeast is not hanging out next to this guy anymore. If I can take him out, then I can just arrow this guy into oblivion. And he can do nothing about it. Whee. Feels bad. You know what game's kind of in this style that I'm really looking forward to? Uh, I'm really looking forward to a game called Sparklight. It comes out later this year. It's a Legend of Zelda roguelite. So it's got... Whoop.
It's got dungeon crawling elements. Okay, it's got dungeon crawling elements, like persistent progression. A really cute style. Ow. I should probably probably try blocking it next time. Nope, that doesn't do bupkis. Move out of the way and just hit it, I guess. There it goes. And it gives me... Eh. I mean, I'm trying to get as much slime as I possibly can, so it's worth it. Captain Log 30. These days have been my hardest. Rations are sparse. The ship is gone. No gathering points open. No clues of the whereabouts of my comrades. I'm lost between dimensions. Hey! Thank you, the White Fang, for a six-month resub. How oh, goody, I made it to the stream. Damn 12 p.m. to 11 p.m. schedule. Ouch! Uh, let's see, what's the name of the game again? Uh, the game I'm looking forward to is Sparklight. This is Moonlighter. But yeah, uh, I got to play it at, at uh, PAX East uh, this past spring, and it was really fun. And so I'm looking forward to that. Because it seems like it's balanced better than this. Because I, I think one of my beefs for this game is that every weapon was just an iterative, like, it was just a small iteration from the next. So, like, each sword was only, just does, like, an extra hundred or so damage. Uh... Which isn't super exciting. Okay. So I do also have dimensional resident resonance. Plastic claw. Venomous spores. I know we venomous spores are worthless. Um. But like it's a little disappointing when every like you get a new sword upgrade, but all it does is slightly more damage. Like at that point, just make it do the exact same damage. Right. I just gotta blitz the fire guys. I guess I could block him, but still. Whoops. Time to heal. Yeah, I should probably just block that fire. That's a tough bugger, though. I just don't want to be near that pit. Oh, he needs a bit of a run-up. Uh, but it's like... Imagine if you were playing Borderlands and every gun you got just did, like, 30 more damage than the last. After a while, you'd be like, why do I even pick up a, a gun? you just wait a while and be like, alright, good enough. Got all the, you know, like every five levels you pick up a gun. And then you you go along. And for some games like, uh, I guess the easy example would be like, Destiny, for example. Most of the guns that you pick up, whoops. Most of the guns you pick up in Destiny... Uh, probably only just do slightly more damage than the last, but every once in a while one of them does something interesting. Borderlands does do that, sort of, but some of them are interesting. Some of them you throw and they explode. Some of them uh, do fire damage, lightning damage, and so on and so forth. I guess Borderlands is a bad example because I actually really hate the gear system in Borderlands. I find it to be... Wow. Uh, I find the gear system in Borderlands to be really uninspired. I know everybody's like super excited about like, oh man, check out all the cool guns I got. But like the only the only gun I've ever I've only ever found two guns in Borderlands that I actually enjoy. One is a gun that fired explosive pumpkins instead of uh one that fired explosive pumpkins instead of uh And then the shotgun that threw itself. Both of which were very satisfying because it was like, yeah, this is actually a really fun weapon to use. You know, I'm going down, I just chuck my shotgun into the air and it goes, kills, goes and kills things. And the pumpkins would just like go and explode on whatever and it was really satisfying. Let's see, do we have the... Yeah, we do have the healing bath right here. 
Yeah, the pumpkin ex uh, pumpkin launcher was a Halloween exclusive. I miss it. Yeah, it was so fun. I I think I was using it in um uh Borderlands the pre sequel. I want to say, and I really enjoyed that. Let's see. It just wants two cursed items. Oh, it wants two different ones. Okay, so we now have the fourth floor por portal open. We have this. We still don't have any blueprints, do we? Yeah, no blueprints or weapons. All right, let's teleport out of here. Um, But yeah, other than that, most Borderlands weapons were kind of an interesting... But at least there was, like, a slight variety and there was a bunch of different ones to, like, kind of care about. Yeah, so that portal is actually super temporary. Oh, that's fine. Oh, hey, I have a Roomba now. Let's see, we probably want to do this one. We still don't have any blueprints. I was, I was kind of hoping for some. Okay, so time to go buy a bunch more potions for reasons. Oh, did that cost a buttload of money? What did I spend all my money on? What did the ring do? Oh, we should go check that. No, I don't have any electric jelly to use. Of course. I'm just gonna buy it. A silly amount of potions. And let's go check that ring. Because the thing is, I'm super, super wealthy from the last... Uh, from before I let, quit the game. Previously. So I can, I can straight up just financially, like, flex my way through, the, through this. Okay, so let's see. Ring. Ring. Electric Puddle Amulet. When the carry has been hit, it'll create an electric puddle, but only 20% of the time. Ah. Well, it's better than what I've got. I might have been able to equip that from the very beginning when I got it. Okay, so let's go back in there. No, oh, so there's there's a lot more floors to this. Ten total. I guess it makes sense. And we should have a uh, a boss after this one. Well, that's okay. Once, it, oh, I know what I spent the money on. I spent it on the portal, of course. I wasn't thinking. So we might have to do some uh, mercantile business after this, but that that's fine. It really bothers me that blocking takes such a such a long time to to do in this. If only because like some of these enemies have really quick attacks. Admittedly, I think in this guy guy's case, it's not it's not that he has extremely quick attacks. It's just that. It's a long charge up, quick shot. Eh, still. I don't know. I like I like blocking in Dark Souls. Ow. Okay, so we might have to. That's just a little bit more. Oh no.
Well, I'm done. That freaking sucks. So when the Mimic hits you, you drop all your... Uh, drop a bunch of items. Including items in your hotbar. Including the 15 or so potions that I was just carrying around. I'm done. I'll come back to this later. When I'm more awake and, I think, more willing for bullshit. It's like... It's not actually a financial setback. It's just mean. Every... I want to like Moonlighter. I want to like it so much. But they're so dead set on making it weirdly punishing that it stops being fun for me very quickly. You know, all the enemies have stupid amounts of HP. Do a lot of damage. Steal your items. Delete said items. Make you drop your items and then kill you so you don't, you don't have the chance of getting them back, of course. And uh, I'll keep playing. I'll play more. I just, this game actually really does make me quite mad. I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, for those of you that will be picking it up for free. But for me, I don't know. It's just, it's hair pulling. We'll see how it goes. For now, I'm ahead for bed and pick this back up again when I'm, when I have tolerance for it. Good night.